So I really enjoyed making this podcast. You know, the last couple of weeks I had some guests on the show, so didn't really get to spit some fire and just share some really good information. If you haven't gone back and listened to those ones, though, they've been great and it gives a different perspective of what my system is and how it can help from massage therapy perspectives. But today I picked right back up on it. You know, this idea of like who's really in control of the treatment process, you or the client, you know, we get stuck so much in this service provider mentality instead of a solutions provider. And we end up taking a lot of shit from clients, end up not being able to help them as best that we can. And we really lose what's called our frame and our control in the situation. So in this episode, I really dive in and give you some ideas and three tactics that can help you take back control of the treatment process. So not only can you feel better about what you're doing, but you can also help that client actually get a full resolution for their injury. So I hope you guys enjoy the show. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Soft Tissue Revolution podcast. Dr. Matt Maggio here. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the podcast. You know, over the last couple of weeks, I had some guests on the show um, that really helped just kind of dive in a little bit more about what they're doing with my system, how they're helping, and just giving you guys a break from listening to me ramble on all the time. But in today's show, what I wanted to cover was who's really in control of the treatment process, you or the client. Um, before we get into that, just a couple of housekeeping notes. I recently just decided to shift the Facebook group, The Soft Tissue Revolution. I think we have about 1,500 members in that over to LinkedIn. What I found was they're just too much on Facebook, you know, bad shit, drama, all sorts of stuff, and people get distracted. So I am in the process of moving the Facebook group over to LinkedIn. I like LinkedIn better because people are just focused there and don't have to deal with all the drama. So all the information about finding that LinkedIn group is in the show notes. So make that shift over because effective uh, end of June, uh, I'm going to disable the Facebook group. Other good news, we are in the process of being nationally accredited and certified for continuing education credits. And we are diligently putting together our curriculum behind the scenes. Uh, the last person that you heard on the podcast, Jamie Laird, uh, she came on as part of the Soft Tissue Revolution and is helping with all of that too. So be on the lookout. We're going to probably do our first live seminar coming up in August, and I will make sure to let you know all the details. So all that housekeeping stuff out of the way. So let's jump right into it. Who is really in control of the treatment process? One of my most popular and most downloaded podcasts was just because somebody pays you money doesn't mean you have to take their shit. I'll link that up in the show notes as well. Got a lot of good feedback from that. You know, a lot of times what I see with massage therapists is they get put into that service-based position. And I talk about this all the time. You're either a service-based provider or a solutions-based provider. And when you're a service-based provider, you put up with a lot more shit than you should actually do. So go back and re-listen to that podcast. We'll give a little more insight into the problems that you're going to see when clients treat you like shit just because they paid you. One of my favorite books, so I like to read books a lot, I'm kind of a nerd, is Pitch Anything. It's by an author named Oren Claff. I think it's O-R-N-E-K-L-A-F-F. -F. And he talks about the idea of what's called frames and social frames. And basically what a frame is, is like in any situation you go through, there's different types of frames that are happening. And the most common one is called the power frame, where in one situation, someone has to be the alpha, the person that's in control, and someone has to be the beta. And a lot of times what happens for people is they get stuck, uh, specifically, you know, people in a service-based um, profession like massage is they get stuck in what's called a beta trap where the alphas think they control things. So usually what they end up doing is they try to control you on money. They try to control you on time. You tell them what to do schedule wise and they do their own thing and you just kind of take it. And that sucks when you take it because those people are shitty and they get away with it all the time. In any situation, you must take the power back and you must 
be the true alpha in this situation. It isn't like a ego and like narcissist type of thing. It's like truly being the leader in the situation because at the end of the day, people need to see three things from you to take you seriously and want to buy from you. They need to know that you're enthusiastic as hell. So if you're not bringing good energy, you're not happy at what you do, then get the fuck out of the profession because you have to start by giving a shit. And if you're just going through the motions, people are going to see right through that. You got to believe in the product. You got to believe in what you do. You got to have conviction. So that's where the enthusiasm comes in. Next one is you just got to be sharp as a tack. You got to know your shit. In all honesty, you got to know your shit. You can't get by just winging it and knowing it because a lot of times these alpha people are going to test you on stuff. They're going to be like, hey, what's your opinion of so-and-so or this treatment or all that? All they're really doing is seeing if you know what you're doing. And a lot of times you don't answer that with the authority that you need to. You're like, they're like, oh yeah, my friend's a chiropractor or this person's a personal trainer and they told me this. You're like, oh, that sounds good. It's like, no motherfucker. That shit don't work. That's why you're here. And they're really just testing you to see where you're at. I kind of yelled there a little bit on that one. But when I swear, I like to yell. Um, What do we got? So we got sharp as a tack. We got enthusiastic as hell. And lastly, is just a true expert. I talk about this all the time. You need to be a solutions provider for those people. You need to be a true expert in where you are. And I talk about this all the time. Quit doing the whole body. Focus on certain areas. Be the neck and shoulder expert in your area. Be the low back and hip. Be the knee. Be the plantar fasciitis. Be the carpal tunnel. Be that person, but be that expert. Because that's what people are going to look for. So what happens is you lose your frame and you get stuck in these beta traps. And that's like, you'll get these people that are like, they're late. They're constantly late. Maybe they bitch about price. They, you tell them they need to come in once a week and they come in once a month. You are stuck in a beta trap and that person is now in control and they're not going to get any better. You've lost your frame. It makes you feel inferior. It just makes everybody feel shitty and you got to take control of that. So My goal and what I teach and I show in my method, the peak injury method, is we teach you how to get back control with those three aspects that we talked about, being enthusiastic, being sharp as a tech, and being a true expert. The enthusiasm part comes from just believing in yourself and understanding that you really are the best option that these people have because you have the best tools. Hands-on soft tissue treatment, way better than chiropractic, way better than physical therapy, hell of a lot better than pain pills and injections, but you got to believe in yourself first. And then as far as just being sharp as a tack and a true expert, we actually teach you how to critically think and figure out problems. So I have three steps to make sure that you're not stuck in a beta trap and you get control back. Number one, I talk about this all the time. I've done podcasts where I talked about this too, how to avoid like sexual favors, how to figure stuff out. Do a consult. What is a consult? We do it all the time. We teach people, do them over Zoom where you go in and you actually dive in about what's going on. We actually have some free training that has some links up in there as well about asking the right type of questions because at the end of the day, you got to figure out what the fuck's going on with your client. If you don't know what's going on, you're just guessing. So this puts you up there in a higher echelon. And I use like COVID as like the excuse or anything like that. I'm like, hey, before you even come in, we're going to ask you a series of questions. This is going to help people understand, be like, man, I've never gone to a massage therapist who actually like takes the time to figure out what's going on. This person must know their shit. And which boxes did we check there? True expert, sharp as a tack. People are looking for that. They're judging you. They're judging you. They're seeing if you really know what you're doing. And when you own that, they're just like, fuck, this person knows what they're doing. And it helps you slow down a little bit too. You're not having to rush. You know, Jamie shared on the last podcast, like trying to figure shit out in five minutes off an intake form. If you want to be that true solutions provider, it starts by doing a consult, do them over Zoom. I think they just do a really good job. And like I said, if you don't know how to do those, we'll show you how to do them in our free training. Um, number two is just, just have a plan and give them a prescription. You know, when we're done at the end of what I call a functional evaluation, we do a very thorough and in-depth report of findings where basically we tell them exactly what's wrong, how we can help and what it's going to take. And we start at the end and be like, Hey, you know, after taking you through the evaluation, you know, you got a ton of scar tissue and it's not going to be easy. So to get started at chipping away at that scar tissue, I need to see you twice a week for the next four weeks. 
That is a prescription that tells them you know what they're doing. You don't debate with that. You're not wishy-washy like, well, you know, you should come in twice a week for four weeks, but if you want to do one, be like, no, this shit ain't going to work. And what we teach you in our training and our methods is how to communicate that effectively to people. You know, we use analogies like it'd be like a medication. Like if you had an infection and you need to take 10 days worth of antibiotics, but you only did four, it's not going to work. It really helps you take that control back. And once again, checking off boxes in sharp as a tech and a true expert. Lastly, this is what sets us apart from everybody else out there. We make our clients sign a code of conduct. What that code of conduct is, we have a three strikes rule. Another thing that we do as well, and that's further down in my training, and actually what's called the soft tissue evolution, is we get people to pay for all their treatment up front, anywhere from 12 to 20 visits. And we also make them sign a code of conduct. Like, hey, you're going to be on time for appointments. You're going to get on the schedule like we tell you. You're going to do the corrective exercises we say. You're going to manage your load correctly. And if you don't, you get a strike. And then you forfeit all your money after three strikes. It shows people that we're not fucking around. And we always do that after after the initial evaluation because people are like, yeah, I would never do that. But you have a code of conduct and it holds people straight. So number one, do the consult. It helps all that. Sorry about that. My uh, computer wanted to make a noise. Um, do the consult. All the good parts and all that information and how to do it is free in my training down below. Have a plan. A person without a plan is never going to fi fix things or figure them out. It gives them a prescription exactly what they need to do, when they need to come in, what they need to do. And lastly, have them sign a code of conduct. Let them show that you are not messing around. And that will set you on a whole different level. Last part, in closing, I see so many times massage therapists are stuck in a scarcity mindset instead of abundance. And they think that just the people they have now are the only people they're ever going to have as clients. So they kiss their ass too much. They take their shit. They don't do the things that they need to. You got to switch to an abundance mindset. And when you become an injury solutions provider, there's plenty of people out there that want their injury fixed and you don't have to take shit from those clients. You know it when you see a client on your schedule and you dread it, they're a fucking asshole and you don't want to deal with it. But you deal with it anyway because you're like, shit, if I don't do this, I'm not going to have other people. But if you invest in the time, you invest in the skills and you become that true solutions provider, you're going to be on a whole different level. So that's all I got for you guys. I appreciate you guys listening to the podcast. Um, Go and grab that free training. We just revamped it um, some more. It's going to help you think critically, figuring out exactly what's wrong with the client because if you can't figure out the problem, you can't fix it. Uh, join the LinkedIn group. If you like the podcast, give it a like, a share, a subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Um, anything else, just you know, reach out. We're always here to help. And I appreciate you guys listening to the podcast and I will see you on the next one. Thanks so much for listening to the show. If you're a massage therapist and you want to learn more about our new methods that allow you to easily double your income without working any harder or getting burnout, we have some free resources for you. One, join our Facebook group, The Soft Tissue Revolution. Two, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Three, request our free training series. Four, leave us a five-star review and share this podcast with anyone else you know it can help. Links to all our channels and free training are in the show notes.